It's been nine years since Max has made the last SimCity, and computers gotten so powerful that we can do all the things that we were dreaming of with SimCity 4. Things like make a full bottom-up simulation where every sim, every vehicle, every building is a real simulation object. So the look of this game is really inspired by Tilt Shift, where you take footage of a real city and you filter it so that it looks like a miniature world, you know, a world that you could reach into and touch, a world that is smaller than you that you can control. So here you can see the tactility of the buildings, so we're going to let you just plop them into the world as if they're physical objects. You can build specialized cities that attract different sims, have different sorts of buildings in them. So you might have a city that's based around culture and education, and that's going to attract a bunch of educated sims. Or you might have another city that's built around heavy industry and manufacturing, and that's going to attract all these blue-collar sims. Your city's going to look different, and it's going to behave differently. This is the first truly multiplayer sim city. What makes the multiplayer unique is that cities are actually connected, so the choices that you're making at the city level have a rippling effect across the region and the greater SimCity world. In this scene, the industrial city is polluting the waterway with heavy sludge and debris. This is causing an explosion at the power plant in the high-tech city. This causes a power outage in both cities, which is also causing protests. Here we show both players working together to solve the power outage. They're gonna build a great work, a fission reactor, this is going to supply power to the entire region. Each region will have many players, each with very different city types that are connected and influence one another. Thanks for tuning in for this insider's look at the game.